season ticket holders to the plays. So the plays are really what, what bring us here. And we've been to some of the exhibits. It's just an opportunity for us not only to show our support for the arts in the community, but to just relax and watch a good play. We've been to Broadway. We've seen probably about five plays on Broadway. And I can't see the difference. It's like one's on Broadway and one's in color. Except, except for the ticket. <laughs> yeah, I think the local talent is just excellent. And they do such a wonderful job with the sets. It's just yes. amazing what they construct. Uh, we just saw 4,000 miles, and you would think you were in an apartment in New York City uh, that they constructed a whole apartment uh, on stage. It was just amazing how they did that. The one, the one exhibit that sticks out in our mind was probably, what, four or five years ago, they had a sculpture with oversized people. And paintings with all the sizes. Yeah. And we could, yeah, we could identify with that. I mean, before I lost my hundred pounds. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, you know, that was that was terrific. Jubilee, uh, chandeliers, really. My uh, uncle was a glass blower. He was a glass blower for laser tubes and things like that. Sometimes he would do uh, things that were for fun. So I, so I just have an appreciation of what it takes to do something. We're looking forward to guys and dolls. We're, we do have season ticket holders, and so we attend every play. And uh, we think guys and dolls is a great, great uh, production. And we're so lucky here in Colorado Springs to have uh, such a production, such a fine arts center that really enhances the quality of Colorado Springs and uh, Colorado Springs Philharmonic. There's so many opportunities for folks to enjoy the arts.